Hello, what's up, guys? I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to explain what is Linux. So, guys, let's get started. It's almost 25 years when the Linux 1.0 was released. It has broken the walls that was made by Microsoft. From supercomputers to home appliances, your smartphone to your car, a Linux operating system is everywhere. It sounds awesome, right? So what is Linux? Linux is operating system like Windows 8, 10 or Mac OS X. I think you know what basically operating system is. Whatever Windows is optimized for daily use, especially for gamers. Because most of the modern games is made for Windows. However, gaming in Linux is kind of weird. But it is possible to run Windows games in Linux using an application called Wine. But there is a good news for Linux users that Steam now features over 1000 games that can run in Linux. It's still a headache for Windows users when new updates for Windows is released. In Windows, the software environment is pretty much closed. On the other hand, the Linux is a completely free operating system. Anyone can modify it. So why you should use Linux? Because in other operating system you have to battle with viruses, malwares, slowdowns, crashes, licensing fees. But Linux is free from this kind of creepy things. There are many versions of Linux known as distributions or distros. Ubuntu and Linux means is two of them and Android is a famous distro of Linux. Nowadays Linux is a very user friendly operating system. Most of the supercomputers use Linux for its security and stability. Linux is quite popular for servers. It is a lightweight and a heavy resourceful OS. You can run Linux to your 10 year old junker PC to your extreme edition computer or even in Raspberry Pi. If you want a very very fast operating system and you only use your computer for browsing the web then you should go for Linux. But if you are new at Linux and just moved Windows to Linux then the command line can freak out your mind. You have to learn some commands in order to use Linux. In Windows we download most of the software through browser and install it through exe file. But in Linux you have to run a command like apt get install to install a package. However, Ubuntu has a package manager for installing applications. Most of the applications for Linux are freeware. Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video then hit that like button and if you want more videos like this then go down and click the subscribe button and if you didn't watch our previous videos then you can find these videos here or here or even in here.